God bless and welcome to Pastor on Call. I am Pastor Mike. It's great to have you on board with us. Um, do animals go to heaven? Well, gosh, this one here will get gets gets so much debate within the church. Of course, everybody wants to believe that animals do, in fact, go to heaven. Everybody wants to believe that. Really, mostly everybody you talk to um, uh, truly believes in their heart that their pets go to heaven. Now, I want to make a distinction, the difference between animals and our pets. Um, scripturally, yes, in Scripture we see, I mean, the Lord is coming back on a white horse. So scripturally, we clearly see that there are going to be um, animals, those creatures in heaven. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6 through 9 says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lamb and the fatling together. So it clearly says uh, that, in, that in glory there will be animals. And, 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 and it, as you really examine the scriptures, uh, it, 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 is, it is difficult to find clear biblical yes or no, black or white, to support that our pets will be in heaven. Okay, however, stay with me. It does not, it does appear though that animals will exist in the kingdom of heaven with us. Amen? So now, the book of Job says something rather fascinating. It says in Job chapter 12, verse 10, in his hand is the life of every creature and of every breath, literally spirit of all mankind. Let me read it to you again. Job chapter 12, verse 10. In his hand is the life of every creature and every breath. Literally, meaning the spirit of every creature is literally um, in his hand of all mankind. Also, you find in Genesis chapter 9, verse 9 through 10, he says this, I will establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you um, and every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals and those that came out of the ark with you and every living creature on earth. So we clearly see here in scripture uh, an incredible promise. Now, whether or not our pets actually go to heaven. Now, here's, here's where the argument comes in. Animals do not appear to have a soul, meaning that they don't need to be born again. They don't have to be redeemed. So it appears from Scripture, right, that uh, like humanity, like us, we have a soul, and we can either go to heaven or go to hell. So because an animal does not have a soul and does not have a free will in that sense, uh, I guess you could say that uh, uh, being not that they have a soul, that, that it seems kind of odd that they, would, that they would go to heaven versus go to hell. Now, if pets will be resurrected or not, we cannot say for sure. I'm talking pets now. And, and it is an important question to lots and lots of people. And anytime anybody comes to me, they come to me and they ask me this question a lot. And the moment that my mouth begins to open and they, and they think that I'm going to say that, that their pet is not going to go to heaven, they immediately get angry at me. And I got to tell you something. Um, it, it does seem inconsistent um, knowing the love of God and granting us the desires of our heart that when we go, that our pets that we have loved and come so close to over all the years will not be in glory with us. And it's an important question if, 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 to lots of people, whether or not your pets will be in heaven. However, I can't say from Scripture that I can conclusively tell you that your pet will be, but I certainly in my heart believe that they will be, okay? Now, the only way to make sure, to make certain that your pets are going to be in heaven is for you to go to heaven, to see for yourself. Amen? Honestly. So you decide today, because you have a soul, 
your soul can either reject the cross or accept the cross, right? So decide today. This may seem silly and funny to you, but I am very serious. Decide today to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and have the full 100% assurance that you yourself will go to heaven and receive eternal life. And as far as your pets are concerned, being in heaven, the only way for you to find out is for you to make it to heaven too. So pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. I give you my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I thank you for forgiving me of all my sins, past, present, and future. And I thank you for calling me your child. I give you praise and thanks in Jesus' mighty name. So in conclusion, yes, Pastor Mike does believe it would be consistent with the love of God and looking at all the scriptures that I just read to you, it seems consistent with the love of God and the way that God loves us and again grants us the desires of our hearts that we will be rejoined if we go to heaven with our beloved pets in heaven for all of eternity. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. We love you and we're praying for you every single day. Amen. Amen.